What's up guys, my name is Deepak Mehta and in this video, I'm going to be showing you what's new inside Microsoft Teams whiteboard and how to use these features. So Microsoft Teams uses the web version of the whiteboard and compared to the Windows desktop Microsoft whiteboarding app, it does still doesn't have the, all the full feature set. Microsoft is working to make these two whiteboarding experience consistent and seamless and you will ask me how stay tuned till the end of this video and you will find out how so let's dive into the demo so to start the whiteboard inside your teams meeting you need to click on share content and then Microsoft whiteboard what this does is this will launch the whiteboard inside your Teams meeting. Uh, it'll take a few seconds to launch, but once it launches, you will see the whiteboarding content appear on your screen if you have any. Uh, this is a brand new whiteboard. And the first thing that I've noticed is this Galaxy pen. If you hover your mouse over this Galaxy pen and click on it, you will see the options to increase the thickness of the pen so it can go up to six um, I would like to keep it to four you also get to choose different color options uh, my favorite ones are rainbow and uh, the galaxy color one and then you also get ink arrows so double ink or single ink you can draw these arrows so let me first uh, select the pen and and draw a triangle and then i'll try to draw a rectangle on my screen um, and then i'll use this double arrow so you'll be able to see how the arrow is automatically formed between these two shapes perfect so now uh this rectangle doesn't seem to be perfect rectangle so what i can do is i can just select this uh just click on it and then convert to shape now my rectangle looks better you can also add shapes or lines to your whiteboard so you just click on add shape and line and then you can just add a perfect shape in your whiteboard and you can choose different color if you want it red color then you can choose red or if you want no color then just click no fill so adding shapes is is another feature that Microsoft has has given in this whiteboard the next thing that I want to show you is this add image button so now Microsoft has given you capability to add add images from your local desktop to the whiteboard and for example in this case I can just upload um, from this download folder I'll upload a thumbnail that I just had created for my old YouTube video and you can resize uh, the image that you pasted by grabbing it from the corner and then you can easily resize it back and forth so one of the cool things with Microsoft Whiteboard is I can zoom in and zoom out. This is what I really like with the just two fingers on my trackpad. If I close them down, I can zoom in. If I open them up, I can zoom out. All right, so moving on, you can now add note plus a note grid. So you could add sticky notes before in the previous version, but now you're getting these note grids with different color schemes so for example if I choose a green note grid I can just click add and then click here to add this note grid I can resize this note grid make it bigger or smaller and I can also add extra note grids if I wanted to or I can delete the ones that I have to make it even smaller and then I can type in on the top and 
I can also type in inside the node grid script for start working on script and then shoot shoot your video so, so it can be very useful when you're co-collaborating with your team um, and your team members can simultaneously edit the same node grid so for that you have to go to settings and allow other participants to edit so that option should be on if you want other participants to edit the whiteboard at the same time so finally the coolest feature that i've seen in this version is the ability to edit or co-edit the templates that you add from windows version of microsoft app so this feature brings the two experiences or tries to bring these two experiences on the same level so let me show you how open this microsoft teams whiteboard in the app you can see that option open in the app on the top so you just click on that open in the app and then it asks you to either download i already have app installed on my windows pc so i'll just click on open the app and it will open my microsoft teams whiteboard in this windows app <laughs> and what you will notice is it is not showing the shape that i added using that add a shape button so this is something that I think it's a feature parity gap which Microsoft might be working on. Uh, what I wanted to show you here is if I add a template inside this Microsoft whiteboard. So if anyone is using Microsoft whiteboard and they add a template, let's say for example, I choose this effective MIDI template then <clears throat> let's say I add here collaboration strategy 2022 and then i add an agent uh, item one let's say microsoft microsoft teams rollout so i do get other options like likes and other things but i just wanted to show you that if i go back to my teams whiteboard I do see the same template here and I can now go ahead and edit the template from here for example let's say this agenda this this is collaboration rollout plan 2022 so you, so you see you get you can edit these templates now from your Microsoft Teams whiteboard even, which is really, really handy. You can have a true collaboration, whether you do it from Microsoft whiteboard or whether you're inside your Microsoft Teams meeting, you get the same experience. I hope you found this video useful. Please do like, subscribe and put your suggestions in the comment section below. This will really help me make better content for my channel. See you in the next video.